Hey guys, sorry if the lighting sucks, it's late and it's kind of dark outside so I'm relying on the light in my room which is never really a good idea. Um, I just got a package from Shop Miss A. So Shop Miss A is a website that has like beauty, products, jewelry, makeup, and everything is a dollar. It's like the dollar store of makeup online. It's a little hit or miss but most of the stuff is actually pretty useful and pretty good quality especially considering the price. So I thought I would just kind of open this bag and show you guys what I decided to get. I'm always so excited when I get packages from this website because you can just get so much stuff. So much stuff. And it like doesn't hurt your wallet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. First thing I got is actually um, a headband, not makeup. And I got this for like tutorials so I can like put my hair back while I put on makeup. It's got a little bow, I thought it was cute. So I finally got this all over color stick from e.l.f. that I have been wanting to get for an embarrassingly long amount of time. This is the all over color stick in Spotlight and it is a highlighter. I'm really, really excited about this because I've seen a lot of people get this in their Shop Miss A hauls and I really just wanted to try it out. So it goes on kind of like this um, shimmery beige and then you can just blend it out and it blends really well. And it actually smells really good too. Which I wasn't expecting. The second thing that I got from e.l.f. is this Luscious Liquid Lipstick and this is in like a dark maroony shade for the fall. Ooh, that looks funny. So this is actually glossy. It's like got a bit of a glossy finish. I just think it's a really nice berry shade for the fall. So the next thing that I got is um, a bronzer and it's from the brand Malibu Glitz. It's just like this um, light brown bronzer. It's matte. Um, I don't really have many matte bronzers. Most of my bronzers are shimmery. So this one's matte and it has little flowers. <laughs> Actually a little light for me, it's like really similar to my skin tone, which is a little bit of a bummer, but again, only a dollar, so you're not really losing a whole much. This is what the packaging looks like if you're curious what one dollar packaging looks like. So the next thing I got is a color corrector palette. I saw that NYX had one of these and it looked really, really interesting and I've o I'm only now starting to learn what the different colors can do for your face. So I wanted to get like a beginner palette to kind of work my way into using it before I get like a really high quality one that's more expensive. And I thought that this would be the perfect place to start. And it comes with a little really sketchy brush that I'm probably not going to use. So then I got this clean color American Eye Doll. <laughs> that is quite the pun. It is a wet slash dry baked shadow and it's in yellow. Yellow is my favorite color of all time. So it's just a yellow baked eyeshadow and I wanted to get like crazy eyeshadow colors to do a tutorial with them. And it's a little powdery, but I mean, it's a dollar. I'm not gonna be wearing yellow eyeshadow every day, so it doesn't have to be like perfect quality. I just kind of got it to have fun with it. So um, I thought it was a good investment to make and I love yellow yet again. I got a couple more eyeshadow products. I got this Princessa kind of mauvey purple shade. And this one's actually a bit better, like in terms of powderiness and stuff. I thought that this was a really realistic color for the fall. It was something that I was probably going to wear a lot. I swatched it in the weirdest place. The last eyeshadow that I got was this um, LA Colors palette and it has these three brown rose gold shades. I thought these colors looked so pretty together and I thought that if I could just slap all three of these on my eye, it would make a really, really nice look. So I thought I would give that a try. So I ended up getting a red lip liner because I did a red lipstick makeup tutorial and I realized during the tutorial that I didn't have a red lip liner. I decided to just like get a $1 one in case I ever wanted to do one of those in the future again. I'd be prepared. This is the clean color um, hot red liquid liner. And it's actually quite bold and creamy for the price. Like, look at that. It goes on really smooth. I, I was quite impressed by that. I also like how the packaging is a triangle. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's not like a circle, it's a triangle. I don't know. So before jumping into um, jewelry, I have a couple more makeup products. I got this Sweet Almond Lip Care um, Hydrating Moisturizing Vitamin E Lip Oil Treatment, and it's just a beauty bomb type thing. I thought this was going to smell really good, but it just smells like plastic, so. It's a little hit or miss with these, but most of them are usually a hit. So I have a couple lip products that I got. Um, I got this Madly Matte Clean Color Lip Gloss, and this is in a kind of lavender lilac shade. I've been obsessed with like the idea of purple lips, and I don't know why. I'm not gonna wear purple lips to class, 
but I just think they're so badass. Anyway, the color payoff is actually really nice. I've heard a lot about the Madly Matte Lip Gloss um, from Shop Miss A. This is the Madly Matte Lip Gloss, which is, which doesn't make any sense. But these are the ones that sell out the most frequently, so if you are looking to try Shop Miss A for the first time, this is a guaranteed success product for you. I also got this LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss. It's matte. It says Pout Lip Gloss Matte. <laughs> And I got this in like a hot pink kind of purpley shade. And this kind of has a similar consistency to the um, Madly Matte lip gloss. And that is the color. I honestly have no reason for you for why I bought this. Like I have no idea why I bought it. Next up I have the Just Color. So there's Clean Color and Just Color. This is the Matte Lip Cream. And this is in like the most bubblegum pink you will ever imagine. And I actually just tried this on yesterday and I thought to myself, why the hell do I own this? <laughs> I think I got it because I wanted to do like a Barbie doll makeup tutorial. I think that's why I got it because I was just thinking about that and I was like, that would be really fun. So but this is the bubblegum pink shade right there. I would say that their lip products are pretty damn good given the price. If you're just looking to have some fun and if you're looking to, you know, get um, makeup for like a certain occasion or for like one night or um, just for you know, the season or something, then I think it's a really fun and cool website to go on. So the last lip product that I got is um, the Smudge Lip Gloss, and I think Smudge is the brand. And it's in like this peachy kind of neon color. And I actually love this color a lot, but the smell is so, so bad. It smells like you got a smoothie with like milk and yogurt in it, and then you left the smoothie out for a couple of weeks. That's kind of what it smells like. I have been debating back and forth whether I want to actually wear it on my lips because I feel like it would make me sick. Look at how pretty the color is. It's like so corally and pretty. Maybe for spring, maybe I'll build up a tolerance. <laughs> so I've just got a couple of jewelry products here. I have this uh, leaf ring that's like a wraparound ring. And this actually fits my ring finger perfectly, which I was very impressed about. I also got this ring that's like a bow. It like barely fits my pinky finger. It's hard to find like sizes that fit you on the website. It's, it's kind of like something you would buy from Claire's. Like it feels like something you would buy from Claire's, but nobody goes onto a $1 website trying to find like the ring that they're going to wear every day for the rest of their lives. I look like deranged with all these swatches on my hand. So then I got a um, an earring set. And I got this because I love bows. So the pair on the top isn't really what I was excited about, but look at the pair on the bottom. It's like these little black bows with jewels on them and they have some gold too. The ones on the top are just like balls that are jewel, called jewel covered. And this is It Girl is the brand. I'm just gonna... So that's everything I got from Shop Miss A this time around. God knows I'm gonna be back on there in like five minutes. It's just addictive. It's an addiction. It's so bad. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.